Hi, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So if you guys watched the previous video I put out uh, covering the Oni Garashi Sharon Sword, I've actually now created a build for it and I wanted to kind of share it with you guys. Now, uh, one thing to note is I personally wouldn't recommend for you to follow my build guide for this character. The only reason why I say that is I typically play casters. I don't really play attack-based builds, so I'm sure there's a bunch of different, more efficient ways to play this character. But I'm just kind of doing it because I want to have fun and enjoy myself and explore a couple mechanics. So personally, I haven't really gotten a chance to play with Ancestral Call this league. And Ancestral Call is a super good support um, for things like Molten Strike or in general single target skills. So I'm really excited to play that, and the character's been working out pretty well so far. I'm just using Molten Strike, Ancestral Call, uh, Chance to Ignite, Faster Attacks, Elemental Damage with Attack Support, and then probably Conk Effect here. Of course, these links will be swapped out uh, endgame and stuff, but for leveling, this is what's worked out pretty well for me. Just to show you guys my tree and where I'm headed to, um, this is it currently, and to pull up the full tree for myself... Again, this is still just a rough outline, but this is pretty much what we have on the character. So, this is at 119. You could just chop off some points. Um, but we're currently sitting at 217 life with four jewels. Two of them will be for the Molten Strike support gem, or Molten Strike in general. 5.2% life regen, and then we get additional life regeneration from our endurance charges uh, with this node right here. And then with the actual Juggernaut Ascendancy, we can get additional regen with Unyielding and the little minor node that goes to it, along with some, you know, Abyss Jewels and whatnot. So, in terms of mitigating the actual, like, damage from the weapon itself, Juggernaut can easily carry that no problem. Furthermore, as well, Unrelenting reduces elemental damage taken while at maximum endurance charges, which will reduce the damage taken even further. Um, we also pick up Barbarism on our tree located here for the extra maximum fire resist and you can run things like Purity of Fire uh, and Vitality alongside that to reduce the uh, degen as well. Now, automatically because this is a character that's going to have a bit of regeneration and because it's a Juggernaut, this character should be suited perfectly fine for Labyrinth. So if you guys are curious for that, you're more than welcome to go do that. But I, wanted to go, I want to go ahead and just show you guys a little bit of how... Um, the character plays. Is it not from hits? That's actually a good question. Does this say hits? No, this just says reduced elemental damage taken while at max endurance charges. It doesn't say anything about hits. Now, one thing to note is that this buff that we have here, the Her Embrace, also stacks with Onslaught. So, even as a low-level character, you can still go zoom, zoom, zoom pretty fast, which is pretty neat. Or actually, wait, does it not stack with Onslaught? Maybe I was wrong? I don't know, this might actually not stack with Onslaught. It's not showing the Onslaught on the bar when I press it. No, but I, I'm very confused. Let me just look at my defense tab. I think it stacks, it's just not, it's just not showing it. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm dumb. I forgot. They changed the buff stuff. The flash, the flash show at the bottom, not at the top. JK, LOL, troll, lol. I was just making sure that everybody was using their noggin early on in the morning. So if you see here, the damage in a simple 5 link, right, is absolutely absurd while leveling. I have not even allocated my ascendancy points for Juggernaut. I don't really have much damage on the tree except for like Lava Lash and Art of the Gladiator for attack speed. And then I have the two Molten Strike jewels for Wildfire and there's really not much else I have on the character. So leveling the character feels super, super solid. Um, I'm super excited to see how the character gets on later or is later on. I know the damage is going to fall off to an extent. Uh, and then, of course, with gear and stuff, you can actually bring it back, which is pretty cool. Molten Strike Jewels for Wildfire. <laughs> That's how what I said, dude. Hey, man, it's, imp it's important to uh, understand where your skill came from.
Uh, just to confirm, I also don't really have much flat fizz on my gear. Uh, there's no flat fizz here, no flat fizz here, and this just has simple 2 to 5 roll, and this belt that I have actually doesn't really have much either. It's got a ton of damage to abyssal monsters. Again here, damage to abyssal monsters and increased damage if you've killed recently. By the way, this darkness enthroned uh, belt, if you guys don't know, crazy, crazy good leveling belt because... You can use jewel modifiers at, you can use jewels at level 1 basically, and you can customize anything that you need uh, with this belt. You just take your jewel and just put it in and then boom. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, that's pretty much about it. I just wanted to show you guys the leveling phase with this character. Um, some basic tips for you guys if you are struggling with the degen of this. Remember that this is kind of similar to Righteous Fire. Meaning that if you scale life regeneration, it'll work for you. So ways to counteract the degen would be uh, regeneration, maximum fire resistance. You can get regeneration while moving. Uh, and that's really about it. I don't really know what else you would, you would get. Just uh, get life regeneration. It's going to be a bit important for you. Um, and everything should be pretty much golden. Anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time, like I said. Remember, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments below, or you can also come ask me at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Or tomorrow. Till later, later, tomorrow, tomorrow, later. Yeah, have a good one, boys.